Hi friends, welcome back. In previous session, we have discussed how to insert the data in ASP.NET Core MVC application by using model pop-up. In today's session, we are going to update the data by using model pop-up. Whenever user clicks on this edit button, we have to display the model pop-up and we have to bind this raw data into the model pop-up and we have to update the data from model pop-up. For that, I am going to product controller. Here we have to create two methods. One is get method. Whenever user clicks on this edit button, so we have to display the data for that. Here I'll create one method to get the data based on the ID. I'll give the action name as edit. Here based on the ID, we have to get the data for that I am taking input parameter as ID so here I will filter the data from product table I can use the context I will use the find method so here I have to pass the input parameter as ID so once we get the data we are going to return it in the form of JSON here I will assign the product this is going to be get method I will make it get also we need another method to post the data so I will copy this I am going to make it as update so in this case we will get the data in the form of product model so I will pass the product model as parameter So this one I can remove it here. So this is going to be post method. We are going to post the data to the database. Whenever we are posting data to the database, we have to validate the model. If model state is valid, then we have to submit the data. Here I can call context products. So I can use the update method here. I have to pause the model. Once it is updated, we have to save the changes. Here I am going to return the JSON data after updating the record. So this is the message which I am going to display to the user. If model state is invalid, already we used in the insert port. So we can display as yes, model validation failed. This is the message which we are going to return to the user. So our controller side port we have completed. We have created two different methods. One is get and post. Here based on the ID we are going to read the data and we are going to send it to the model pop-up. So this data will be fetched in the model pop-up. From the model pop-up, whenever user is clicked on the update button, we have to post the data into the controller. This controller will push the data to the database. And once it is updated successfully, we are going to return this message to the user. If model state is failed, then we are going to display this message. So now we will go to the product JS. Here we are, here we are going to write the edit function. Here already we defined the edit function whenever we are reading the data here. So here we are binding two buttons. One is edit, another one is delete. The user clicks on this edit button. This function will be called same function which we created here. And for this function is expecting input parameter ID. So this ID we have to pass it to the edit function. Here we have to create one Ajax method to post the data.
I'm going to pass all these parameters to the controller to get the data based on the ID. Here we have to pass the URL first, which is in our case product is controller. Then we have to pass this method name. Along with this, we have to pass the ID. I'm going to pass ID here. Then we have to define the type. We are going to get the data from the controller. So I'm passing as type get. Here we have to pass content type. Here we have to define the encoding method. UTF-8. And also we have to pass the data type. We are getting the data in the form of JSON. Once it is success, here we have to get the response from the controller. I'll create a function for that. So I'm going to validate the data here. So we will get the response, whether if it is response is null or response is undefined. I'm going to validate the data here. So I'll display the message to the user. So this is a message I'm going to display it. I'll zip. So response length also we have to check it here. If length is zero then I'm going to display it as data not available with the ID which is passed by the user here I can pass ID else so it will be successful then we have to display the data in the form of model pop-up so if data is available then we have to display the model pop-up so we can get it model pop-up from here so you can go to the index view from here we can see this is the model pop-up so I'm going to pause this value here I'm going to display this here model show so otherwise if this is null or undefined or if length is zero we no need to display the model pop-up and I'm going to define the model title also here this title also we are going to display dynamically since we are using single model pop-up for insert and update we are displaying the model title dynamically so this is the model title here update product if it is insert we are going to display as add product so in this case we have to hide the save button and we have to display the update button for that So I have to get the save button here, id, so this save button I will hide it, So we have to display the update button. So this is the ID for update. I'm going to pause it here. So instead of none, we have to make it as block. Here we have to display the values now. We will assign one by one. response 
dot id then i have to display the product name then price So these IDs we are taking from this model pop-up. These are all the IDs we are picking. Product name, price, quantity, and this is the ID. Suppose if there is any error, we have to handle that. So this is the success function. If it is any error, we have to handle it. I'm going to create one function here. So I can display same thing here. So get pot completed. We will run the application and we will check whether this functionality is working or not. Run the application. Here whenever we click on edit button that pop-up should come we will click on edit button so we are getting some error unable to read the data so we will check our javascript function so this is the issue here so here we have to pause the query string as id we will run the application again click on edit so this time model pop-up is coming with the data so this is label updated dynamically as update product here we can see the data here we remove the save button and we are displaying the update button now we have to create another function to post the data whenever user clicks on this update we will call the update function to save the data we close it go to the ajax method so here this is the edit functionality so now we have to write a function for update whenever user clicks on this update button we have to call this update function from javascript First we have to validate the data, for that I will call validate function here. In previous sessions we have explained how to use this validate function. So by using this validate function we are validating all the text boxes which are is mandatory. If result is false then we are returning false so that it will not update the data. else we have to submit the data so again I'm going to take form data here I'll create a object for this so already we used for insert purpose so I can take it from here so I'm going to take entire function I can reuse it in update Here I am taking ID, product name, price, quantity and here we have to call the update action. So I have to pause update. Then method type will be post. So whenever we are receiving response null or undefined we will display this unable to save the data if it is successfully updated then we will hide the model and we are going to rebind the products and we will display the message which is received from the product controller 
once product is updated we will get this message from the controller so this will be displayed to the user in the form of alert so if there is any error we are going to display this message we will run the application now I'm going to edit this record click on edit so product details are displayed so I'm going to remove the laptop so this validation is working fine and I'm going to add it here just I'll change the price here I'll click on update product details updated so this data has been binded to the table earlier we had one product called laptop in the id3 we will execute this query now so this has been updated with the toys so like this we can update the data by using model pop-up in next session we are going to work out on this delete functionality that's it for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.